In this video, we're going to show how to add and subtract polynomials. First, we're going to look at subtracting. Subtracting is just a little bit trickier than adding, but it's not too tricky. The first thing I want to address is if the question asks subtract from. So let's say we had 6 subtracted from 11. That would mean we started with 11 and then subtract 6, and we would get 5. So when we see subtract from, remember that the number we're subtracting from should come first in our subtraction. So now we have our first example. 4x squared minus 10x plus 3 is subtracted from 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. So this is what we're starting with. So this is what needs to come first in our subtraction. When we subtract or add, we're going to use parentheses to write our expressions. So we said this would come first. This is 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus parentheses 4x squared minus 10x plus 3. The next thing we need to do is distribute this minus sign. So that means that the minus sign is going to distribute to all of the signs in the second set of parentheses. So I can take the parentheses off now that I'm distributing. So I have 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. So this is minus a positive, minus 4x squared. Now this one, minus a negative. Minus a negative is the same as adding. So that's where we see a sign change. 10x then minus a positive should be minus three, like that. The next thing we need to do is to combine like terms. So I have my x squared terms, remember the signs. And I have my x terms, remember to include the signs. And then I have constant terms. Remember to uh, include the sign. In this example, I have three different uh, types of terms. I have x squared terms, which I circled in red. So this is 2x squared minus 4x squared. 2x squared minus 4x squared is negative 2 x square. I know these are like terms because the variable terms are exactly the same. x to the second power, x to the second power. My x terms highlighted in pink are negative 3x plus 10x. Negative 3 plus 10 is positive 7. So that means this is positive 7x. Then finally in black we have our constant terms. It says plus 5 and then minus 3. So positive 5 minus 3 is positive 2. So my answer, after I have combined like terms, is negative 2x squared plus 7x plus 2. Before we move on, I want to remind you that we had an expression subtracted from another expression. This expression we're subtracting from should come first in the subtraction. Put your expressions in parentheses. Then remember that with parentheses, we need to distribute this sign to everything in the parentheses to the right of it. When we add polynomials, again, 
please use parentheses for your two expressions. Here we have our example, 4x squared plus 6x minus 7 plus, so this is like the sum of 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. So adding polynomials is combining the like terms. Our x squared terms, we have 4x squared plus 2x squared, which equals 6x squared. Our x terms, we have plus 6x and minus 5x. 6 minus 5 is 1, so this is plus 1x. You don't have to write the 1. You can, but you don't have to. And then finally, our constant terms, negative 7 plus 3. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. So our answer here is 6x squared plus x minus 4.